this hole was dug just yesterday. I don't know what it's for, but it seems to be about uh, two and a half to three meters deep and it's reached the aquifer. And that's all the clay soil they dug out. The aquifer seems to be at the same level as the creek running from my uni's lakes. And the creek is just... Here is a wetland for for the storm water to, to get cleaned up. Well, to clean up the storm water. But yeah, there, over there is a creek. It's dry right now, but just under the surface there's water and it seems to be at the same level as that the water level in that pit there. Hello. That's a juvenile magpie as you can tell by its brownish feathers. And now let me show you the, the family of Australian wood ducks that I, I videoed a few weeks ago or maybe what, just a few months ago. Here, there's only three of the kids. Three of the ducklings have survived and look how big they are. Yep. Yes, waddle into the water. And there are two black swans in the lake. I'm not sure if they are a pair, but if they are, last year there were black swans breeding on the, this very lake at that, around that, uh, on the grass just below that sculpture there. So yeah, maybe in a few weeks time else, they'll be nesting here too. And here's a couple, a pair of um, Pacific black ducks. They're quite large actually for that species. Okay, bye you duckies. And finally, over here, there's a royal spoonbill in the middle of these three Australian white ibises. And notice how it's on its head. It's extra feathers because it's breeding season. Oh, did you see it poop just there? Hmm. Now, some blue-billed ducks over there. Those two at the top are blue-billed ducks, and the one at the bottom is a Eurasian coot. Seems like there's a lot of Pacific black ducks around here. 